What this allows me to do, it's always a good tip when I come into the application to just go through and check the field point settings. And what these settings are doing is it's, it's uh, telling the program how I want to have annotations assigned to the points that I'm going to create in my drawing file. It's also going to allow me to determine what tool tips pop up when I'm working within the file. And then I have some general settings that I can do uh, to adjust my, my uh, uh, attributes that I want assigned to the points. So just looking at the overall annotation uh, settings that I have here, I have the ability with each of my points to provide an annotation in two parts. I have a first part that is uh, by default set at description, and then it has a second annotation part that would be the point number. I have the ability to go through and change those if I don't like that format for displaying annotations with my points. So if I go and select, select on my drop-down menu here, I can change the description to point number. And if I don't want to show any annotation for the uh, second part there, I can go into the drop-down menu there and I can either switch it to description if I want to have description as the second part of my annotation, or just place that none if, if the only information I'm really interested in seeing is the, the point number. I also have the capability in my general settings here to come in and uh, set what the text type will be when my annotations are placed and also the text style that I'd be using for those annotations. And if there's a specific layer that I want to place that information on, I can come in and, and tell uh, the program which layer to place those annotations on. Looking down below here, I also have uh, some settings I can uh, activate here for the placement of, of the annotations as, as each point gets created. If I would like, I can include a leader. So if I select the leader application here, it's going to pop up a little dialog box just saying, uh, how far do I want to offset the, uh, the tip of the leader uh, from where my point is located? And you'll notice there, as I'm working with each of these categories, if I forget what these settings are for, if I just hover over it with my mouse, it's going to pop up a little tooltip there telling me what that, that particular category uh, pertains to. The next setting here is for automatic placement. Automatic placement, uh, when I'm doing my annotations, I have two options actually, is to do an automatic placement of those annotations or a manual placement. So if I do the automatic placement of my annotations, I'm just telling the software where in relation to the point do I want to place uh, my, my annotation uh, information. So I just need to tell the program in the drop-down menu here uh, where I'd like to have that in relation to the point. So I can go in the upper left-hand or right-hand corner, or I can go in the lower left-hand or right-hand corner. I can also adjust what the text offset would be and the text offset if I'm using that leader as well. I'm actually going to turn off my leader application here. And then for manual placement, if I'm going to place the, the points manually and not have the software place it automatically for me, I can come in and I can select uh, the ability to rotate the annotation after I place it uh, if, I, if I want to do that type of uh, application. Looking at the next tab here, I've got my tool tips. The tooltips are what come up when you hover over each point that you've placed with your mouse. Um, so by default, what you're seeing here is what is turned on uh, within the program. But I can go through and turn on or off any of these fields that you see listed on the screen. And this just allows me when I go and hover over a point, it's going to pull up that information so I can understand what that point is relating to. And then the last tab is my, my general attribute names. Uh, these are the attributes that I can assign to each point. So I have five attributes that can be assigned to a point. And if I don't want to use the default categories of attribute one, two, three, four, and five, I can go through and change what those uh, category names would be. So if, for instance, if I want to say you know, one of the attributes and rename it as manufacturer, I could actually come in here and change that, that uh, setting in this location. But I'm going to keep these as just attributes one through five. So I'm all set now. I've gone through, I've checked my settings, and I'm ready to start laying out points within my, my drawing file.